I was always thinking somebody else will do it, you know, from Bosnia or from abroad, whatever. But I really thought um, I, I, it can't be me. After five of my films, documentaries and fiction, I thought, OK, as a director, I feel I'm ready. But there was also another uh, cup, you know, another part of um, obstacles, which is how to deal with this, um, you know, how to survive this political things, how to uh, make production, which is for Bosnia absolutely enormous, and all of these things. And as I said, this huge responsibility towards the survivors, because they are living among us. And, um, you know, they all have their own vision of what happened. They, they saw it with their eyes. And how can I make images which will, um, you know, which they will say, yes, it was like that, or, you know, they will say it wasn't like that. So this was a huge thing that I was thinking Yeah, absolutely. I had feeling in one moment that um, nobody wants to me to make this film. You know, it, in in one um, like in Srebrenica, where um, today mayor of Srebrenica, who is Serbian, he denies that genocide happened. Um, there are people like that in our government, and they would uh, like when we were asking for certain stuff from the army, they didn't allow us to have. Uh, when we were looking for locations, we always got rejection, rejection, rejection. And, you know, even from the uh, Bosniak side, where you thought you will get uh, immediate support, um, I, I thought they, you know, they, they, they didn't believe um, I should make the film or, you know, in this way, films should be made. So uh, producer Damir Ibrahimovic and, and I, and then the whole team, we felt quite isolated in, in all of that. But there was this big wish to make a movie, to, to communicate about this very painful thing for, for us and very unjust thing for the world, I can say. I did a huge research. I really read everything I could and I talked to many people. There was a book by Hasan Nuhanovic under UN flag. He was a survivor um, who was translator and who had to translate to his family. Uh, now you have to leave the base. So this was for me uh, like an um, um, inspiration where I thought um, a, a translator who can show uh, Bosnian Bosnians because it has destiny of Bosnians and also you UN side is a character that can bridge these two worlds. And immediately I decided not to change names of historical figures like Karamans, Frank and General Mladic, but I wanted to be as accurate as possible. Um, of course, knowing it is film, it, it has to have film rules. Like, you know, there were several meetings of Mladic in a, a Hotel Fontana with, with Karamans, but I had to put it in one scene because otherwise it would be boring. But the rest of it, I really kept as accurate as possible because I didn't want this story to be uh, diminished by uh, somebody saying, oh, it wasn't, uh, this fact is false. I because we are living in this moment where there are so many um, denial, I really wanted that even people who don't believe the genocide happened can't have um, a moment where they will say, OK, she lied or she cheated. I wanted to be as accurate as possible. But again, having in mind this is a movie fiction, uh, you know, it's a fiction. So I had to respect rules of films and rules of um, how audience is able to see stuff. Because there were so many things which were so brutal, but you cannot put them in a movie. It, it, it will, you know, audience will lose it. So it was a lot of balancing to do and a lot of talking to people who uh, experienced these events. And I was taking their emotions through me, trying to be, um, you know, truthful to, to every event. Yeah, we first show it to them because for us, they are really the 
crucial to, to, to say what they think about a film. I was showing through process, through, through rough cut also to some people who were experts, but then we had a screening for um, mothers of Srebrenica organizations of victims and they really appreciated film so much because it was telling their story in a way they think it's truthful and uh, for them it was very very emotional so they really they're in a way grateful that film exists and then can tell stories in the places where they are not able to travel and to tell um, what happened to them. I think I love people's faces. I love people and you know to show their faces and this is most important thing for me while uh, preparing the film to find the right places faces that have um, a whole history that have um, geography which tells what happened and how they think and uh, you know that we see their soul um, very often when I see some films after three minutes, I can't go on because faces are not uh, hu fully human. They don't have fullness in them. So this is, maybe it's coming from that. I think the faces are the crucial for, for communication and uh, I love people's faces and I want to show them. There were many extras who did survive concentration camps and who, who they, they, they did survive torture. Uh, like there was one um, scene where I was telling um, actors to um, extras, please go to this uh, truck and, uh, you know, do like this. And there was one man who said, it's not what they did to us. It's not the way they did to us. And I was like, what? And he said, you know, I was... In, in concentration camp and I know when they are transporting us how they did it. So I said, okay, we will listen to him, how he explains what we should do, we will do it. Or there was a situation, you know, when one actor uh, is coming to give bread and we had rehearsals, extras were there and um, suddenly two women started hysterically to cry and we couldn't calm them down. They were kids when they were in concentration camps and they knew this actor is very famous Bosnian actor, but they were triggered by his uniform with his guns. And, you know, they couldn't stop. We had to call emergency. So these kind of things, I thought I have to show them. I, I you know, they tell story uh, even just with, with, you know, one shot. Yeah, from very beginning, our team, you know, Christine Meyer, Damir, me decided that we will not show this, um, you know, the, the spectacle of war that maybe because, you know, I lived through war, I really hated this um, pleasure of showing um, a certain eroticism of war. I can't stand it the way uh, some war films are showing it. So I my feeling of war, it's really, it's banality of evil. And I really wanted to show it in that way. And plus, I always think audience can imagine more than we can show. So I was leaving a lot of things to audience and showing just before or after what happened. ボスニア紛争末期の1995年セルビア人勢力に侵攻されたボスニア東部の町スレブレニツァ「カジェデラデスフェストウニコウイモチダーリスセルビマフォーマーリウティマート」「スタンウィストウゴーリッド」「イシュツネドガイジョ」「ヨトグラドナチュ国連保護軍の通訳として働くアイダ「ヨーディバーザイポーナ」Nema potrebe da ginuš. Da govorim je da se stanovništvo izmesti tamo gdje je bezbjedno. Zajedno da tu je servisni ustav opnaj. A je volim tih zajedno.
Ispituju muškarce i ubijaju tu djesto metrije bazu. Pesme, možeš mu povesti moje sinove iz baze, molim te. Pokušaj sakriti neko mašina. Sengo Europa saijak no hijeki. Srebrenica genocida. Jigen no shinjitsu. Soste, kazoku o mamoro oto shita. Hitori no jose no unmei toa. Nemojte! Nemoj, oni su moji! 愛だよ、どこへ。